welcome to this new video for my channel, The Mental Traveler. I'm Caro Herrera, and today I'm going to be reviewing the first season of a historical fiction show called The Bonfire of Destiny. This is actually a French production, so its real name is Le Bazar de la Charité. It consists of eight episodes, and it starts Audrey Fleureau, Camille Lou, Julie Debona, Victor Mutelet, François David Cardenel, among many others. Before I begin, though, let me just say that this will be a spoiler-free video, so you can sit back and enjoy. I am a big lover of history and of period dramas and of the Belle Epoque and of Paris and of the 19th century. But I guess that the real reason why I'd never heard of The Bonfire of Destiny until it appeared on Netflix is because it was a French production and I'm not really keeping up with those sort of series or movies. One day though, in December of 2019, I was looking for something to watch and the poster of the show called my caught my attention. So I instantly saw the trailer and it looked promising so I decided to give it a try. And I am really glad that I did because I fell in love with it. I watched it all in just one weekend and I instantly recommended it to my family and friends. And I'm happy to report that my mother, my sister, and until now two friends slash followers of The Mental Traveler on Instagram also enjoyed it. But why did I love it so much? Well, I'll tell you why in a moment. The Bonfire of Destiny is inspired in real events. It begins in Paris in 1897, when dozens of high society ladies and their families and servants were visiting the annual Charité Bazaar, which was an event organized by the French Catholic aristocracy to help different good causes. The bazaar had been going on since 1885, but in 1897, a devastating fire ended up claiming the lives of 126 people, most of them aristocratic ladies and their maids. All of this isn't really a spoiler because this all takes place in the first episode of the season. So what the show is actually about is following the aftermath of the fire, how it affected French society and politics, the physical suffering and PTSD of the survivors, as well as the investigations to try and figure out what started the fire. Was it a mistake or an act of anarchy? We follow all of these themes throughout the lives of three fictional women. The first one is Adrienne, a rich woman who's tried over and over again to escape her abusive husband. And the fire gives her the opportunity to do so, but she can't bear the thought of letting her young daughter in her husband's hands. What will she do? The second lady is Adrienne's niece, Alice de Johnson. She's engaged to be married to a rich young man, but when a poor young man saves her from the fire, they start to develop feelings for each other. Who will Alice choose? Will she put her family and duty over the desires of her heart, or will she give up everything for the love of her life? The final lady is Rose, Alice's maid and close friend. Rose dreams of moving to New York with her husband so they can start a new life together, but the fire changes everything for them. For not only does she end up severely burned, but she is also kidnapped by a rich lady who wishes to pass her off as her daughter, one of the victims of the fire. Will Rose manage to escape, or will she agree to pretend to be another woman? I give The Bonfire of Destiny a 5 out of 5 stars review because I really enjoyed it. I loved it. I'm sure it may not be a perfect production like The Crown or even Downton Abbey, but it's still pretty excellent. And as I mentioned earlier, I love Paris and history and the Belle Epoque. And I'm grateful for this series for letting me know about an important historical event that I'd never heard of before. And I also really enjoyed all of the female leads and their storylines, particularly Adrance and Alice. Honestly, though, I can't think of a single thing that I disliked about The Bonfire of Destiny. I enjoyed the political issues it addressed, the love stories, friendships, the family dynamics the settings, the costumes were beautiful and exquisite and everything and it also has some very handsome men like Victor Mutilet and François David Cardonnel so yeah, I'm not sure if I'm giving this show its due justice but please watch it, I highly recommend it so far, a second season hasn't been announced, I think. And I mean, even if they don't keep it up, I think it's alright because it ends on a perfect note. But if they do keep this show going, I would definitely watch it and review it because I'd love to step back into that world and meet up with those characters. But yeah, anyways, for the moment, I believe that this is all I have to say about the first season of The Bonfire of Destiny. Thank you so much for watching my review of it. Please let me know if you enjoyed it or not. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that you did. And also, share with me your own thoughts about this series, about the historical event it was based on. And also in the description box below, you can find a link to the IMDb page for the show. But yeah, anyways, I'm Caro Herrera, the mental traveler, and I hope you have a wonderful day wherever you're in the world. I'll be seeing you soon. Au revoir.